I think they, they love the people here. And that's the, they, they always talk about the people in Knoxville and how that they're, they're more than just patriotic. This week, Knoxville's gonna host this year's Medal of Honor ceremony, celebrating past and present recipients of our nation's highest military award. Festivities basically going on through the week. Recipients have been arriving in Knoxville throughout the day today, and then even coming into our airport. That's where our John Pierceos is. Medal of Honor exhibit set up to welcome our nation's heroes, John. Yeah, Ted, that's right. There are a lot of Medal of Honor recipients passing through the airport today, arriving off their flights, some of them even arriving to standing ovations at their gates when they got off of their respective flights. And at some point, those recipients likely found their way over to this exhibit here behind me, and I'll step out of the way so you can get a better look. But this exhibit here has 50 cards. Each one highlights a recipient of the Medal of Honor. Many of these soldiers fought in Vietnam, Korea, Iraq, and Afghanistan. All of them made huge sacrifices to be awarded the Medal of Honor. And the Medal of Honor is only given to military personnel who have gone above and beyond the call of duty, usually risking their own life. People passing through the airport stopped at the exhibit to honor these heroes. One man we spoke with is a retired Air Force officer, and he says the Medal of Honor is only for the select few. You don't get it like you get other medals. It's, uh, it's like trying to become a saint. There's a, <laughs> there's a vetting process. Uh, your boss doesn't, doesn't just say, hey, you get a Medal of Honor, good job. It has to go through Congress. It's a Congressional Medal of Honor. The Medal of Honor celebrate, uh, celebrations kick off tomorrow and run through Saturday night. There will be four recipients of the medal this year, one of them posthumously. It's the second time Knoxville has hosted the celebrations, with the other being in 2014. And Warrensford says it's really cool as a veteran to have the ceremonies right here in East Tennessee. And just to give you an idea of how prestigious this award is, it's an award that dates back to 1863 when Abraham Lincoln was president. And since they started giving out those awards, they've given out about 3,500 or so to military personnel. And of those 3,500, only 65 people are still alive today with the Medal of Honor. Guys. I expect many of them, if not all, here tomorrow and throughout the week. Thank you, John. Coverage of all this throughout the week for you on air and in the WVLT News app.